Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. Prince Harry's former flame has spoken out after watching Harry and Meghan Vall, I on Netflix, saying she doesn't recognize him. American reality TV star Catherine Omani, best known for The Real Housewives of DC, believes Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, has cast a spell over the Duke of Sussex. Omani, now 51, said she had the time of my life with the young prince, 13 years her junior, during their 2006 fling. Watching the Netflix docuseries, Omani told Piers Morgan Uncensored, what I saw in him at the time, he was desperately searching for freedom and privacy. But what he's done is turn the whole situation full circle, and now he's got no privacy and no freedom. I just don't know whether I would recognize him anymore, personality-wise, because when I watched him on the show, I just thought, why? She's Megan, got a spell over him, and that's why I don't recognize him, because he used to be so down-to-earth and normal, and there's so little of him I actually recognize. He would never in a million years back in those days have been the sort of person to do this show, ever. Recalling what Harry was like in 2006, Almany described him as just a really, really, really funny total gentleman. There's so little of him I recognize now. Almany first spoke out about the relationship for the first time in early December, sharing that she had the time of my life, the Sun reports. The divorcee said Prince Harry had given her the most passionate kiss I've ever had. In her candid interview, she also revealed the pair frequently kissed passionately during dates, and even posed together for a photo in a bathtub. Before meeting and marrying Meghan, Harry had been in a long-term relationship with socialite Chelsea Davy. But Amani said she wasn't sure if he was on a break from that relationship when they hooked up. The pair met at the art bar in the London suburb of Chelsea in May 2006. Amani claimed Prince Harry told her he dreamed of living a regular life. They went on several more dates, always meeting up in private bars. After news broke of his relationship with Davy, Amani said Harry changed his number and stopped all contact. If Harry walked through the door here now, he would probably give me a high five and I am sure we will meet again because the world is a small place. I hope he is happy and has found some freedom finally, because that is something he was desperately searching for back then. So what do you think guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more interesting news about Royal Family. Thank you.